Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another new episode of the TV show. As always, I am your host, Wyatt Street. And as always, we've got a brand new guest, so please welcome Christine Humowitz. Hey, hi. <laughs> Christine, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Anytime, it's my pleasure. Um, so, as always, we'll start with the generic normal question that I always ask. Uh, okay. How did you get started in Tiger Vision? So I started my freshman year, so 2016. Um, I came in and I wanted to do um, news, and I was the only one that wanted to do it, so it was kind of depressing, but we made it work. Um, and so I started on the PAR report, which is the new segment that we have now, which has taken off and it's been really, really cool. And so I've been able to do editing and on screen and scripting and all that stuff through that and have started doing some kind of different things. And so it's been a really, really good experience. And uh, speaking of PAR report, uh, that's been going really well. Mm -hmm. I remember you know, when, when that got started up and to where it is now, it's just basically different. Like, it's not even the same, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. really <laughs> hit the ground running and, and gone. What, what would you say has been your favorite part about working with Paul Report? Um, I'd have to say my favorite part is just the people I've gotten to work with. It's grown so, so much since my first semester. Mm -hmm. It was me and one other girl, and now we have a team of like 10 or so people. And being able to see all of them like grow as they learn things and be able to like do different parts of videos and seeing like how much they enjoy it and like how like they have suggestions and I just think that's really been really cool yeah it's been uh, I know being a part of it has been a, a great experience for me personally mm -hmm. at, at the very least I've, I've really enjoyed it yeah and, and it's really been a way for me to like do different things right you know and yeah. to get involved in other ways so I think that's a really cool thing too yeah and uh, I know you were the news director mm -hmm. and now you have um, switched over to being a one of the marketing directors so yeah. what what was one of the reasonings for uh, that change into a uh, job I suppose um, so I had kind of a change of career path so I wanted to do um, journalism and so I kind of changed my mind last summer like I had yeah. an internship and I, I enjoyed it but I just realized like that's not what I want to do forever right. so um, I'm now going into family law hopefully if I can get into a law school and then um, I'll become an adoption attorney is the goal be cool. so I figured I'd give somebody else the opportunity to kind of get their feet wet in that kind of position it's really it's really beneficial to be in charge of like all the aspects of like creating a package and that kind of thing and so I don't know Tate's it now and Tate Fowler's gonna do an amazing job I'm so excited for him I actually did a uh, interview Tate on the last show yeah <laughs> and uh, he, he he's uh, he was really excited to, to be doing it I think he's been doing a really good job so yeah uh, but with marketing, uh, you and Matthew are splitting that and mm -hmm. taking two different facets of the job. And which one are you taking over again? I am in charge of like community outreach. Okay. So like anybody, like any events that we want to do, I'm I'm in charge of like setting those up and meeting with people on campus. So. And do you have any like? plans for for the current future or are you still trying to work things out um we're working a couple of things out i'm going to meet in march with the lady in charge of the barn center to do like an, a like karaoke kind of thing something yeah. like that in the fall and we have one coming up is it march it's in march right it's actually a couple weeks from now yeah I think. it's a couple yeah. weeks from now so that'll be cool actually, i want to say it's next thursday yeah next next thursday or friday or well one of those by the time this airs it'll be around the yeah same it'll time, be but... the time <laughs> This is the third episode in the row I've accidentally dated. <laughs> I really need to stop that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I think by now I'd have that figured out, but you know, it's, it's whatever. It's fine. Everything's uh, fine. But, um, and I know with News Team, you just recently uh, made your uh, on-camera debut, so what I was did. that like? It was, it was interesting. I don't know. I've never been on that side of the camera before. Yeah. So it was really cool to like, I don't know, get that perspective and like see, like experience what I've like watched other people experience. And I don't know, it was really cool to like watch myself, even though like I hated the way my voice <laughs> sounded, but like so does everybody, I guess. But it was really, really cool. And my mom got like super excited and like, shared it on Facebook 20 times and it was, it was yeah. awesome. But <laughs> Well, I thought you did a really good job. Yeah. And uh, now you're making your sort of <laughs> second on, second on camera debut, debut I guess. Yeah. So uh, this is you're you're really uh, moving up in the on camera game now. Yeah, I'm huh? doing what I can, you know, <laughs> trying to get a little bit of experience everywhere. So you are gonna stick with it with Power Report, and I guess with the new new show uh, once that gets on the ground, or is it just sort of like a right now kind of thing? I'm hoping to stick with it. I really, it's something I enjoy. Like it's a big like hobby of mine, and yeah. I love working with everybody. Everybody's super great. So I'm hoping to continue on with it, but. And I know outside of Tiger Vision, you do a lot of other things, and I know um, you do dance, right? How did the, you do. How, did, how did that, how did you start doing that? 
Um, so I've been dancing since I was three, so very, very long time. Um, and so, like my senior year of high school, I didn't really expect to be able to do like any kind of dance when I got to college, but I got here and found Clemson Dancers, which has been an amazing club I've been a part of. And I do um, Tiger Strut, which is the competitive team through them. And I've met like so many amazing people. They're so talented and it's been really awesome to be able to like continue to grow my technique and like my artistry in that way, so. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't y'all recently have a competition? I think I remember seeing, uh, seeing that on like social media or something. Yeah, we had one last Saturday and we have one coming up, so. Okay. How, yeah. did, how did that last one go? It was good, it was really good. We competed against ourselves basically. There oh, okay. wasn't anybody else in our division, but we got like the top score bracket for like each of them and we scored pretty well. That's so the next one, thanks, the next one we go to, we're competing against like seniors in high school. Okay. So that's kind of scary. <laughs> like, I cannot do anything that they can do probably, but it'll be it'll be fine, it'll be fun. Best of luck to you guys, I'm, sure, you, I'm <laughs> sure you've got this. Yeah, I hope so, I think we'll do well, but. And uh, I know you've also recently joined a sorority, right? I have, yeah. Which one? Sigma Kappa. And what's that been like? Um, it's been kind of like a whirlwind stuff. <laughs> like, I joined it, and I, I expected to be busy, but not, like, so busy right away. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing, like, new member meetings, and we've had, like, mixers and all this kind of stuff. We have formal coming up I'm super, super excited about. So, it be fun. yeah, it'll be really, really fun. My pledge class is small. There's like yeah. 19 of us. We've been able to get really, really close. And we go to everything together. And it's been really cool to meet people that I might not have otherwise. Yeah, that sounds like it's uh, been a fun time. Yeah, for sure. And I know you also, um, I see them all the time on like Facebook and uh, the Odyssey articles that you write. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> how did you get started with that? Um, that's just something I had always seen them on Facebook and I was like, oh, I wonder who writes those. And then I like finally looked into it and I realized like that's a thing like college students can produce and like mm -hmm. through like different like communities on Odyssey, the Clemson community has done really, really well like in the past and it's continuing to grow. So I saw it and figured that's something I would do and I've enjoyed it a lot. And what has it like been like for you and how, did, how does it really like work? Do they tell you what to do or do you just kind of like say I want to do this and go with it? We basically, every week, it's kind of up to you. Okay. Like, the editor-in-chief will send out, like, topics that she thinks might be interesting in terms of, like, current events or, like, things that are going on on campus and stuff like that. And you can, but you can choose whatever you want to do. If you want to do something, like, serious or if you want to do, like, a list of things with, like, gifts on it, like, yeah. that's cool, too. So whatever you're feeling is really what you can do, so. Well, I know I, I enjoy uh, seeing them when they pop up. Like whenever I open Facebook and I see that you got a new one, I always like to read those. They're, well, thanks. <laughs> they're, they're, they're enjoyable reads. So if you ever see them pop up on, on Facebook, please, or wherever else Christine shows them, be sure to give them a read. Definitely. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Christine, where are you from again? I'm from Georgetown, South Carolina. Okay. And yep. why did you choose to come to Clemson? Um, I chose Clemson. I actually, I'm a very indecisive person. Okay. So choosing Clemson, it was a really glad, like great decision. I'm so glad I made it, but I had a really hard time figuring it out. So it's just, I came down between Clemson and University of Georgia. And okay. so I really liked like both of their like programs and I wanted to do journalism at the time. That was something I was really interested in. And um, just both of their campuses, they were like big, but they also had like a family kind of feel. But the last time I toured both places, I really realized like Clemson was the place for me. Like my tour guide was really great and I got really a lot better of a feel of what campus is like the last time. And honestly, like I'm so happy I yeah. chose Clemson. It's one of the best decisions I ever could have made, so. It certainly is a, just, a, like you said, with the atmosphere of the place, mm -hmm. it's just, I don't know, it's, there's nothing like it. No, there's it's, not. It's really indescribable, Nowhere. honestly. Mm -hmm. And we can throw out all the cliches, and they are cliche, but they're true. They are. They really <laughs> are. All the Clemson it's, family yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, it, from the outsider's perspective, it's so overused, but at the same time, yeah. it's, it's for good reason. Yeah, you get here, and you experience it, and you realize, like, it really is a huge thing here. Yeah, because I mean, like, I grew up a Clemson fan and I, like, mm -hmm. heard all these things and seen all these things, but it's like, you just don't really get it until you come here. Yeah. And then when you come here and really get to experience it, it's just, I don't know, it's just such an amazing thing. And I, I agree. I've loved every second of being here. It's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. Yeah, it really has. First game day, nothing like it. <sighs> nothing There's like it. Nothing like Saturdays in the Valley. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. I love it. But. Yeah, it's, <laughs> go Tigers. For real, for real. So Christine, uh -huh. what do you say we uh, play a little bit of a, a game of sorts? Okay, let's do it. All Sounds right, like so fun. I'm sure you've um, heard the expression before that there are two kinds of people. Yes. Because, you know, there's, uh, if you haven't heard, it's usually when there's like 
two really important things or, mm -hmm. or big things, and it's really like most people fall into either or, okay. you know, either one of those categories. So I've uh, compiled a few of those, and we're going to figure out which, uh, which side we fall on okay. on each of these spectrums. So Solid. first up, uh, this is probably one of the more common ones that, that we see, mm -hmm. uh, the toilet paper roll, over or under? Oh, over. There's, uh, there's no benefit to putting <laughs> it under. There is literally no benefit. I don't care what anyone says. It just it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm 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 a over preference. Uh, I mean, I can do I can deal with both. Yeah, I've, I've gotten used to both, so I mean, either way, it doesn't bother me. But I usually prefer over. Yeah, no, if it's like under in my dorm, I 100% will change it. <laughs> like I just no, there's just no. <laughs> I just can't. Understandable. <laughs> I guess it is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, Apple versus Android? Uh, or, well, iPhone, I guess. I, iPhone, iPhone. I Same. used to be a loyal little Android person oh. because my mom wouldn't let me get an Apple phone. Hmm. I finally convinced her. She's still a, like hardcore Android person, but I just, it's you, it's not the same. Yeah. It's not. I my first phone, I don't even remember what it was, but it was not an iPhone. My yeah. second phone was an iPhone. I want to say it was a 3GS. <laughs> Good old That's middle so school. It's so long ago. They're on like and, 10 uh, now. Yeah, and see. I used to think it was pronounced X, then when I first saw it, I didn't realize they used the Roman numeral for it, because they like uh, did the iPhone eight and also the yeah. iPhone nine. But they like or whatever it was. But they did also, they, they skip like, nine? I think so. They did skip nine. They went eight and then ten, but it like eight was like the eight, the numeral eight, and then ten is like the X. I've so heard I just it called, read it as like I've heard X. It called the X though. I think that's but not I've wrong. also heard it as ten, so I don't know anymore. I think maybe that's what they want you to think. I don't know, maybe they want you to sit and think about it. We need Steve Jobs back. We do, we do. <laughs> yeah, oh I'm, also, I'm also a little iPhone person though, ever since I've had it. Ever since I got my first one, I've just stuck with it because yeah. at this point, I mean, I enjoy it. It's a good phone, it's easy to use, and at this point, it, it would just be too much of a hassle to switch, honestly. Yeah. Like, even honestly. if I did want to, well, yeah. I don't want to, but even if I wanted to, it's just, it would be a hassle. Yeah, all my music's connected through that yeah. at this point. Like, it'd just be... It's so, so much easier this and way. And like but. changing all, like switching over your photos and apps oh, and it's everything. Just too much. It's just like, eh. Too much. It's a process. It is. In the similar vein, though, mm -hmm. Mac or PC? Um, Mac. But not in a desktop. Ah. I'm a Mac laptop, but like PC desktop. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. Mac desktops, I've, like the ma the mouse's mice are weird, like the little yeah. scroller ball on it. I don't yeah, like it. I don't it. like that scroller I bar. do not like it. Yeah. I. I'm more of a PC guy. I've never really had a Mac. Yeah. Um, mostly because they're expensive. They are very, they're very expensive. expensive. But very I've expensive. used, I've used, I've like the Mac. I, I feel you with the like the desktops though. I yeah. feel like I could, I feel like I could convert to a to a uh, MacBook no problem. But yeah. like, there's no way I could ever use the desktop. No, like, the I've had to hard. use them before with like like high school and whatnot, mm -hmm. and they're just like so weird. Yeah, they're very. Like the very interface weird. is just all messed up. Yeah. And everything. No, I'm I just, much I don't know. More. I don't like it. Yeah. It, no, it I don't either. Me. I'm not a Ugh. fan. Not a fan. I feel like this one you uh, answered earlier, but I'll have to ask it anyway. Is okay. it pronounced GIF or JIF? GIF. Oh, thank you. GIF. GIF. No, it is not peanut butter. It is not JIF. Thank you. <laughs> it's a thank GIF. You. It is a GIF. It is a GIF. And even though the creator came out and said, oh, it's GIF, like, no, uh, you're, no. Wrong. you're wrong. <laughs> no. You're wrong. You're, a li you're not a, you're, you're, you're a computer scientist. You're not a linguist. No, sir. it's just, no. He doesn't, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's just wrong. I'm sorry. You're wrong, sir. You're wrong. If you're watching. Probably not, <laughs> but if you are. He might be. You don't know. Yeah, I hope so. That's a viewer. I'm always looking for viewers. That's not begging. That's just he's pointing out the it's truth. It's just honest. It's just, it's just, just the truth. Uh, share this with your friends, by the way. Shameless, shameless plug. Share on Facebook. All right, so uh, when you wake up in the morning, do you mm -hmm. set just one singular alarm or multiple? Um... It depends. It really depends. If I have something I need to do, I will set multiple, multiple ones. But like five minutes apart. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I'll set them like two minutes apart. If I know like I'm gonna <laughs> sit there for a while, I'll just do like every two minutes. But I snooze a lot. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, snooze button is basically like every morning. Did that this morning, made me late, but it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's it's okay. fine. Sleep Everything is, is fine. important. <laughs> I'm usually a one one uh, alarm kind of person. Yeah. Because, I don't know, it's weird for me. Like, usually one alarm is all it takes to get me up. Like, when I wake up, uh, I'm up. Yeah. It's, it's like, unless I'm, like, dead tired and mm -hmm. I really, really want to, I can't go back to sleep once uh, I get I up. See. So usually one arm, alarm is enough, so I don't even bother messing with it because then it's just going to constantly go off because I will forget over to cut over. them off. Yeah. 
So I'll be in the shower and it'll just still just be going, going off outside yeah. and I won't even know and it'll be a problem for everyone else involved. Yeah, so. if I have if I have something to do, like yeah, I'll get up, but if I have nowhere to be until like late that morning, I'll definitely I'll be like I'll wake up and I'll be like nope and just yeah. give up and it's just it's how it goes. Got to get that sleep. You do. You really I need to do. get that sleep because <laughs> I am behind for the past three years, basically. Uh, three years. <laughs> I you were gonna say three days. <laughs> oh no, three I've been, years. I've been behind for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch up. It was, it's know. never too late to catch up. Just go to sleep for like five years and then wake up. That'll be nice. Oh my god, <laughs> everything would be so different when you woke up. Oh my god. Literally, it would, it would the whole weird. world would be changed. Probably. The whole, and, and the entire There'd world would be There'd probably be at least three new countries, too. Three new countries. Donald Trump wouldn't be president anymore. Probably not. Uh, hopefully. Maybe. I mean, Maybe not. not. There's a chance. I don't know. I mean, people like we him, I guess. I don't know. That's weird. It's, yeah. It's weird to think about. It's weird to think about. Clemson could have won like four national championships in that point too. Like we don't know. That's, that's true. That's true. What's weird is that's actually legitimately possible. It really is. Like you just you never know. You never know. Uh, this is another one I've seen too okay. with a lot of people, uh, with like notifications for like apps and emails and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you clear them all, or do you just like have like a bunch of them stockpiled up? Oh, I definitely clear them. Like at the end of the day, like I always go and I just like hit the little X and make them all go away. I don't even go through them like at this yeah. point in my life. I just get rid of them. I gotta clear them because it's just so cluttered. Like, like it especially is. with my email, like my like my inbox. It's just like, mm -hmm. if I leave it there, it's gonna like, I'll open it up and be like, oh my god, I got a bunch of emails on the. Yeah, be like at. overwhelmed with it. Yeah. And it'll happen literally every time. <laughs> so. I always gotta clear it so that way when I open it up and there's like nothing there, I'll know that I don't have anything important to answer. Yeah. Like I do, yeah, I, not, I, I don't delete things. No, that's I don't thing. delete things. I either. don't delete things. So like, you could just go through my emails and just keep scrolling for the past five years probably. Yep, yeah, all my emails but are unopened. They are. Everyone. They are opened, and read. See, you're doing better than me. But. I I don't I just I can't have the notifications. Yep. Yeah, no, I have. See? On my Yahoo email, yeah. 16,000 unopened emails. <laughs> <laughs> I have not opened an email on there literally since my junior year of high Oh my school. gosh. <laughs> but it's just, it's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with it's it. It's fine. It's literally so much at this point, you, I can't even go and mark them all as red. It There's would take no too way. long. It'd take too long. I, goodness. I know, it's kind of overwhelming. It would take forever to like go through and delete those too. Yeah, it would. It's kind of overwhelming, so I've just, I've just been ignoring it. So. It's, it's not fine. a problem if you don't acknowledge it's a problem. You see, yeah, if you ignore it, it, it goes away. Exactly. It goes away. Yeah. <laughs> it's how I deal with my life, so it's just, it's okay. Same, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, when you're reading? Do you okay. use a bookmark or do you bend the corner of the page? I oh, know, you gotta bend it. Really? Yes. It's so satisfying to like bend it and be like, look how far I read today. And then to unbend it and be like, here I, I am. I don't like bending it. Why? I feel like I'm messing it up. I feel like I'm messing up the book. You see, I, I, think, I have to use a bookmark. I think a book should look messed up when you're done with it. That's how you know you read it and you enjoyed it. For me, the mess up comes from like the, the corners mm -hmm. on like the binder, the bind, binder part. Like, yeah they like kind of fray a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's been used, but like, yeah. or like you'll get those lines on the spine from like when it's been open for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like that, yeah. that's, that's, that's what it is for me. I just, I don't know, I don't like bending the pages. Yeah. It's just, I don't, it, it's just something about it that bothers me. I got you. Yeah. I mean, thing, I, I like the like the progress of it. I'm like, oh, look how much I read. Like I read this in this amount of time. Like, I don't know, that's why I can't do like e-readers or something because literally like flipping a page to me is like yeah. so satisfying. In which that's the next one I was going to bring up. Oh, gosh. Physical books versus e-readers. Oh, physical and books, 100%. Physical books all day long. 100%. I just, I can't focus on when I don't it's, have like a physical book in front of me. And it, like you said, it's so satisfying to rip the, like not rip. Don't rip <laughs> Hopefully not rip. <laughs> I meant flip. They rhyme. And it's been a long week. To it flip has. the pages. Yeah, uh, it's just, it really I don't know, is. It's just, you flip the pages and then it's like, if it's got a terrible ending, you can slam yeah, it shut and slam throw it, it on the and ground. Yeah, you slam it and just be done. Because I've done that before. I literally did that before one time. I slammed it shut and threw it on the ground because I read a book that had a terrible ending. Oh, that's the worst. A Farewell to Arms. Okay, that's, it was, we'll not read like, that. The book itself is like not bad. Mm -hmm. It's well written and it's a classic, but like yeah. just, it's got an ending that'll piss you off. Oh no, those are the worst. Those are the worst. I could I could rant about it for a long time. <laughs> my, one of my favorite scenes in any movie ever uh -huh. is 
Uh, have you seen Silver Linings Playbook? Yes, yes. When he when he finishes a book and throws it out the window, uh -huh. that's the book. Oh my god. And he goes on that like whole like rant about it. That's awesome. You see, you're not the only one. It must and, just like, be that bad. And like that was I first watched that movie before I read the book, and then I read the book, and then I was like so pissed off, and then I was like, wait oh. a minute, was that the book from that scene in the movie? And I looked it up, and it was. Oh my so, god. I I really connect with that. Honestly, if Bradley um, Cooper doesn't like it, then it shouldn't bad. be liked. It's just bad. <laughs> but, yeah, so, and, and also, like, one of my favorite smells in the world is the smell of a new book. Oh, new book smell. New book smell is literally mm -hmm. the best. It's up there. And you it's can't get there. that with an e-reader. No, you can't. You get, a, you get a new book on an e-reader, nothing changes. It's just there's less space There's, like, space one more available. file on yeah, there. It's, like, like great. But like, like, no, you get a new book, you can actually hold it and touch it and smell it, and it's just, mm, It's everything. It's bliss. It really, it is. There's yeah. nothing like it. There's not. It's just amazing. I'm sorry, I'm not a. No and then you can have like a book no. bookshelf of like your favorite books, and it's like you can't. Yeah, get that and you can be like, look at all these books I've read. Yeah. I'm so smart. Look at all these things. It's just fantastic. It is. It's great. It is. How about uh, how about this one? When you okay. when you write the date, the full mm -hmm. date, do you use dashes or slashes? Slashes. Really? Yes, I use slashes. See, I'm I'm more of a dash kind of guy. Oh. Uh, mm. I don't know why I do the slashes. I really yeah, don't. Me neither. I just always have. I just always have. I like the like the separation. I don't know. <laughs> I see. I'm the same with the dashes. It's just like I don't know. It, it just creates a little more space to make it easier to yeah. read for me. And I've always done the dash. It's it's like if, if I'm if I'm told to do a slash, I can do a slash. But it's just like, yeah. I'm not like it's not like hard set on it. But that's it's just, not like just what ew, I do. Slashes. Like, yeah. I just I don't know. I just naturally I write dashes. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. That's true. I mean, no matter which one I use, I'm still putting 2017 on all my papers. <laughs> I put 2017 on a, on a paper the other day, like on a oh. test. I wrote 2017. I was like, it's, it's not the date anymore. Debra it's just, it's, it's almost March. Yeah. Like, what am I doing? Oh my God, it's almost March. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so, oh, I, sh oh, I hate talking about it. This year is going so fast already. It's <sighs> so weird. So fast already. It's so weird. Ugh. And then finally, uh -huh. the age-old famous one, oh God. Pepsi versus Coke. Oh, I got, there's nothing like a Diet Coke. Hmm. There's nothing like a Diet Coke. I don't even, I drink regular Coke, like yeah. I drink cherry Coke, but let me tell you, a Diet Coke is just everything. It's everything. See, I'm happy with Sprite. Yeah, I like Sprite too. It, see, when it comes to Pepsi versus Coke, it's weird, because I have two different stances. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the individual sodas, yeah. I prefer Pepsi. Yeah, no, I get that. Because, because I don't know, just for me, Pepsi has more flavor, and so I've heard some people say, I don't, I, well, I prefer Coke because Pepsi's so much sweeter. Well, that's why I like yeah, Pepsi. Why I, it's got yeah. the flavor. If you're comparing the original ones, like, yeah, I'm a Pepsi yeah, if, person. Yeah, if I'm talking about like just the sodas themselves, yeah, it's Pepsi all day, every day. Oh yeah. But if I'm talking about the brand, it's Coke it's because be Coke, Coke has Sprite, and Sprite is my favorite soda. See, that's good. It's and, gotta be Coke. And also, Pepsi has Sierra Mist, which is huge minus points mm -mm. because Sierra Mist is just like a terrible Sprite like wannabe, and it's just bad. It's not the same. It is I'm a Sprite purist, same. if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It's just, whichever one has the Dr. Yeah. Pepper, that's what I want. But Dr. Pepper's like its own thing. Yeah, it's kind of its own thing. I'm not, I'm not even sure like whichever one, because I feel like if you like go to a restaurant, no matter whether it's got the Pepsi machines or the Coke machines, it's, always, it's like Dr. you can Pepper's usually there. always get Dr. Pepper yeah. there. Yeah, that's like my like number one like favorite. Yeah. So, I mean, the other two are kind of irrelevant, unless I want a Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> but it's one of those things like, I don't really go for Coke. Like, I settle for Coke. Yeah, that's true. I, if, like, I nothing never, else is I available. never seek it out. I settle for it. Yeah. You know? If you can't have something else, like, like oh, I'm going to drink like, Coke. I go to, like, my go-to is Sprite, and then mm -hmm. it's Pepsi, and then it's just kind of, like, whatever else is there. And, like, I just, I'll settle for Coke if it's if it's the only thing I can get. Yeah. Or, like, I the mean, best of my options. Yeah. It's good, but it, I wouldn't, like, go out of my way and yeah. be like, oh, I'm going to get a Coke. Yeah. Like, no. No. Mm -hmm. Like, if I go to a Coke machine, I'm just, I'm going to get Sprite. Yeah. I mean, I'll get a Diet Coke. Like, but, like uh, the original, I just, I don't know. It doesn't live up to the hype. No. It doesn't. People just, are so like, Coke. I'm like, no. No, there's, it's really nothing special, <laughs> no. honestly. If you, if you want to go for like just a regular cola drink, then go for Pepsi. Because yeah. It's, it's better. It just tastes better. It is. It really and is. I, I can't wait for the like impending comments on this. They're like, <laughs> what is wrong? With this you? is such an unpopular opinion, but it's just. I don't care. <laughs> it's on. It's this real. Is me. This is who it's I real. Am. <laughs> you can't question it. <laughs> honestly, I'm with you. I'm with Thank you. Thank you. You're you see, someone understands. I will support you. Someone yes. understands. Yes. Well, Christine. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Thank you for coming on the TV show. Yeah. You did, you did a great job in your, I guess, on channel debut. On channel debut. Yeah. You know, yeah. Thanks. It's been on, fun. on a, your, your show debut, I suppose, instead of like news debut. Yep. This so is. I guess we can 
divvy it up that way if you want. Sure, that but sounds like a plan. <laughs> thank you for coming on the show. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I look forward to seeing what else you'll do, not just with PowerPoint, but I guess like the new show and anything else that you uh, may decide to do. Yeah, for sure. So It'll be fun. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, be on the lookout for Christine and more PowerPoints. And when the new show gets up and running, be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. So for Christine, I'm Wyatt. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you same time, same place next week with a new show, a new guest, and more fun to be had. <laughs>